Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna, and I'm going to be re-watching Red, White, and Royal Blue, the movie. I'm recording this in August of 2024. It released in August of 2023, so happy anniversary to the fandom. And I want to thank everyone. If you saw my first reaction video, and if you didn't, I'll put a link in the description in case you're curious. That was my first movie reaction ever and I thought it was going to be the only one but the next morning I woke up to all these comments likes subscriptions I owe the red white and royal blue fandom so much I am so grateful for you and well, that really is the biggest deal as far as the videos that are on my channel with movie reactions I'm enjoying movies again I'm getting excited about movies again and it's because of the red white and royal blue fandom so thank you so much oh I still can't get over how good this movie is. Let's watch Red, White, and Royal Blue again. Yeet. The fact that it starts out with the crowd cheering, very appropriate, you know? The prince's younger brother, Prince Henry, known affectionately as mm. Prince of England's Hearts, and yeah. their younger sister, Princess Beatrice. Mm, pretty. The charismatic <laughs> son of the American president. Also representing the I US think I is knew going into this that the narrator on the IMDb credits wasn't going to be doing it the whole movie, but at the second when it, you know, when I realized what it was, I was like, oh, good. <laughs> hey, here's an idea. Hey? How about we hey. skip the party tonight and go do touristy things instead? It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. Hmm. He thinks it is. I mean, it does bug him a little bit, but that's not, you know, he doesn't he's so confused about how he, why he's pissed off that Henry doesn't like him and stuff, you know? Can he eat me alive? Mm -hmm. The score really nailed it. Like, it, it's a rom-com. People didn't expect to take the movie as seriously as they ended up receiving it, I feel, as a whole. Not, I'm not speaking for everyone in the fandom, excuse me, because I know we all have the right to react to this movie the way we did. But I think people who weren't a part of the fandom already before watching this, they were pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Kind of rich white boys. So smug and entitled. He's a prince, Alex. He's literally entitled. He's very animated. He's the mm -hmm. world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. Also, I swear that he is not 6'2". I think <laughs> this is one of the scenes where Nick had to wear a wig, but I can't remember. <laughs> How's it going? Tee. <laughs> you did it. You did get dick. That guy. <laughs> I love him so much. The guy with the glasses back there. <laughs> uh, I love the kick. I'll admit right here in the mirror, I didn't catch Henry and Nora's reflection. I was like, wow, that's a cool mirror. <laughs> I love <thought> it. Was... <laughs> that... <laughs> well, that's nice. <laughs> he plays a good drunk. <laughs> His legs. Mm. That's what I do all the time. That's what my apartment's a mess. It's like, okay, I don't know. Alex, killer yeah. wedding, man. Glad you're. Families, you can feel <laughs> what this cake costs. Well, probably not as many as if we put your shoes on auction. <laughs> Someone mentioned that he made that comment, not because of what he's wearing right now, but because Henry follows Alex's like Instagram or something and he's seen his closet, you know? Thank you for the etiquette lesson. You are desperately in need of one. You know what? <laughs> the pacing of this whole exchange. Oh. <laughs> nailed the casting, nailed casting these two specifically. Mm, poor Taylor, how he shared the story about his dog. I know he said, no, let's just keep it between us. I don't know if he just messaged Nick and Matthew. And the next day he walked in, he's like, I could see everyone knew. And it's like, oh. <laughs> And the fact that Taylor pitted this out, right? Yeah. I feel bad for Taylor there in the eyes, though, you know? <laughs> the energy, like, not a beat missed. 
They didn't waste any fucking time with this movie. You didn't build a bad reputation. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Watching this movie in 2024 after the change in candidates. I'm, I'm going to get political during this video possibly. So just in case people don't want to talk about it. But I mean, it's red, white, and royal blue. Of course it's going to come up. Ellen. The family at the royal wedding and don't cause an international Queen. incident. Queen. Madam President. Thousands of hours, gallons of tea. That's me when I'm in a show. You've <laughs> managed to undo all that. Hmm? Ma, you know by next week, no one will be talking about this anymore. And really, no reasonable person is gonna- <laughs> That's one of my favorite parts, the way she like flashes the newspaper at him when he's still talking. To take to Midwest voters. I'd argue that you don't actually need the Midwest and there's a path to re-election right. without that you don't want to hear from me. <laughs> I need from you. <laughs> Sunshine of my heart <laughs> is some good old fashioned damage control. Ah, Asshole. Thora! Idiot. What are you? <laughs> Stop! You're flying back to London tonight. Henry are, in fact, close personal friends and have been for the last several years. Zora. This is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. Zara is his mean friend. There's no getting out of this. Oh, yeah? What if I set myself on fire? We'd ship the ashes to Heathrow. Yay. Zara, 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 Zara. Amy. Princess Catherine, Duchess of Edinburgh, firstborn child of I His think Majesty King James. Amy said, or I mean, I'm sorry, Anish, um, said that this was a favorite scene to film. Maybe not. Correct anything wrong that I say in the comment section if you see this video, please. <laughs> If you want to. Really? Who names her dog David? You know I have a shih tzu named Jonathan. I still maintain that's weird. That's my son you're talking about. He is super cute. He is. You want to see some pictures? Yeah. I have no problem at all with people referring to pets as their kids. It's not hurting anybody. I've seen some people respond to that, not just with this movie, but I think something similar comes up in the idea of you at Solon's birthday party or something. It's fine. Handle the horses? Or... I'm His Royal Highness's personal attendant. Sir the butler. I hope we get more of Sean in the sequel, maybe, or at least this much, like what we got in this movie, that much time for Sean in the second, you know. Here comes his royal highness now. It's so cool. If don't I get to I'm shower and change on this very tight schedule? Oh so. my God, we don't want to screw up the schedule. Mm -hmm. Big smiles for <laughs> the camera, please. <laughs> They're wearing lifts. No, that too, sweetheart. Hey. Are we finished here? Yes, you're well, honey. <laughs> and then I know they cut out the Cornetto scene. I kind of like how it cuts straight to this. It just makes it seem as if it's all a one day thing. Wouldn't have minded if the Cornetto scene was had been included, but the pacing was so good with the movie that I don't know if I really feel that it was needed. We all knew in the adaptation that stuff was going to get cut from the book. It, was gonna head to Oh, I feel so bad for Henry. No. It's, he's like, it's torture for him. One thing I most admire about Alex is his willingness to admit when he's wrong. <laughs> that little <laughs> Every nuance. You don't know this, but Henry does the best freestyle raps. Ha, I love how thrown he is here. Having food fights all the time. Vicky. <laughs> Plays a lot. Every couple months. Never with photographers as well. Mm. <laughs> People comment about how much room is in this fucking closet. <laughs> it's an excuse to get close to each other. Though really, also, Henry's starting to talk. Yeah. Because he sees that Alex is about to have a panic attack or an anxiety attack. I'm sorry to group those two terms together because I know they're different, but Henry senses Alex's unease. You turned to your equerry and said, get me out of here. I didn't realize you'd have that. So you do admit that's a douchey thing to say. I could have been nicer. <laughs> I admittedly acted ungenerously towards you has occupied such a vast mental and emotional space okay. in your head. Sure, when you put it like <laughs> It was my first foray into the world as a public figure, and I was really scared, and you could have helped me, and you didn't. Mm. Sweet. 
<sighs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. No excuse, but I was a prick to everyone in those days. Hmm. Father died a few months before, and the palace insisted on parading me around. Oh, that look. I didn't say get me out of here. I said I need to get out of here, which is a different thing. Because he's held on to the memory of their first meeting, like every detail of it. Neutralized. <laughs> Some kid brought fireworks for his friend. When you say neutralized, it's good he's already in the hospital. <laughs> Amy's kick ass. Okay. <laughs> and then they became. Yeah. The story of Alex and Henry. <laughs> Wow, most people would kill to get an invite to my party. That's perfect. You can kill me and I won't have to talk. <laughs> Some photos, Your Royal Highness. Mr. Claremont. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I need to get out of here. Mm -hmm. See if you much, Your Majesty. <laughs> but I think it's telling that in it. Ugh, he's so happy. Be in it is Yay, very Rachel silly. Meadow. You can already see the potential outlines yeah. of what President Claremont's campaign could be about next year. I know this scene right here with the dad. People is like, oh, that's such horrible special effects, CGI. It's like, obviously they're not at the White House. It's, it's about the heart of the story. Like, a lot of stuff compensates for details like that. And lives in a palace. <laughs> what? What's that? I'm just brushing. Like the casting, the music, the screenplay. Although, speaking of your mom's authority, don't tell her <laughs> I was smoking. I mean, the scene is so short, and people are like, oh, they're not really there. It's like, no shit. I love this coffee shop. I do. They did a really good job with this character compensating for the people who aren't there. It was done in a very clever way or something, and it supports the story. Is your mother's campaign nervous that Republicans are going to nominate Richards? The only Republican who makes us nervous is Abraham Lincoln, and I doubt he's running. <laughs> he's Ask well, I start on a good hour. Yeah, you're better. always running at full speed. Just look at this, it's an encantador. Eso y las pestañas. Mm. I'm pretty much jealous of all men for their eyelashes. <laughs> the text exchange. The first text. <laughs> you got that? <it. laughs> I was not expecting that the first time. So cute. <laughs> that smile. I like this outfit on him. <laughs> Everyone I've seen who's reacted to this comments on how cleverly done these, like, these text exchanges are, or were, excuse me. Oh, this is my favorite part of it. I hate the tie you're wearing in Vogue. It's so boring. What do you have against color anyway? Gray is a color, <laughs> thank you. The picture mm. of Dorian Gray. I love it. My husband's reading picture of Dorian Gray right now. I'm waiting for him to finish it. It's like, what'd you think of the ending? <laughs> Took your time. I saw a turkey chick recently. Those are actually cute. I just don't like the full-sized turkeys. They look gross. So there's this American tradition where the president pardons a turkey. This turkey will not shut up either. <laughs> the White House and they put the little asshole in my room. Don't ask mommy for a pet. You my favorite parts. <laughs> What's a bellin? <laughs> Look it so up. So that's how you pronounce my last name, but it's an A instead of an E at the end. Bellin. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I didn't have to look it up to guess what it means. <laughs> no, I just mean, <laughs> you don't seem like the kind of person that would name the dog David. I like Henry's pajamas a lot. Wait, seriously? Hmm. Hmm? That's way cooler. Why not just call him Bowie then? This was such a beautiful surprise. I really thought when I saw, cause I think they released a picture or a still from the scene the day that they released, like before it released, leading up to it. I thought it was later in the movie, at the part when, uh, in the book when Alex makes his public address about their relationship or something. Don't let this affect your vote. Don't let this affect the campaign. And Henry's like there, he comes to the White House and he spends the night there. I thought this was him sneaking into Alex's room. So it wasn't as much of a spoiler as I thought. Tee. <laughs> Shut up, man. Ah! Has anyone she in the campaign so actually read that my Texas strategy shirt? memo? Tee. Did anyone ask you <laughs> to write this memo? Oh, I took the initiative. Yeah. 
If there's one thing people on campaigns hate, it's when the candidate's family takes initiative. Make sure Prince Henry comes to your party. People like him more than they like you. Well, they wouldn't if they knew him. No, you like Henry. You like Henry. Uh, Nora is the best dressed there. She looks so good. Alex looks good too, but I just love her outfit. So cute. And she's adorable. Like this part, doesn't she take Alex's hand and drag him? Yeah, 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 here. It's so sweet. Camera girl. Nate Percy O'Connor, who has been begging me for an introduction since the wedding. Miss Holleran, you are the most exquisite woman I've ever seen in my life. Oh, she's so cute. This girl. <laughs> Henry, it's okay. <laughs> the way he's drawn to him. Moth to a flame. Ballroom lessons didn't exactly cover this. Yeah. The more dance class you take, the more awkward situations like this are, but you dance. It's like, not like this. Mm. I like whoever that first girl is twisting in the heels. And that girl in the white with the uh, shimmery top. I love the girl in the yellow. I don't like what she's wearing. Because I don't, oh, and that guy, yeah. But I don't like, like, I like what she's doing backwards. Oh, this guy, I mean, he's so sharp. <laughs> Kyle did a great job here. Oh, Kyle Hanagami, West Side Story moment. And I feel so stupid for not getting that analogy or um, the parallel when I first watched it. So beautiful. Such a perfect moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so sad, even though you know it's gonna be okay. His face, the, fa the way it falls from that big smile. Oh. <laughs> Looks so nice. I like it. I like it. Did I do something wrong? Be a writer. For being so gentle with the scene. Live in Paris. How things space or air between their lines when it's Henry, Alex. In theater, usually that's a no-no depending on the situation, but here it's like... People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> as thick as it gets. <laughs> so fucking scared and he's in shock i mean he's drunk too but he's in shock so he doesn't go after him and when he finally realizes like whoa and looks for him later he doesn't find him at the party here's my favorite couch in the world coming up here when it gets to the side of the couch like matching this up with the scene later when henry comes back in and they're kissing against the couch it's just so oh funny thing hmm. happened on new year's eve hmm. Henry kind of kissed me. I totally privately called that. Oh, shut mm -hmm. up, Nora, you did not. 50 rows of a Gaga concert kind of gay. <laughs> but he's always dating a different girl. Oh, honey. Do you remember Henry's friend, Percy? I didn't realize or notice that they weren't referring to him as Pez until someone brought it up after I saw the movie. I'm just like, oh, it's Pez, it's Pez, it's Pez. I'm like, oh, they really did, hmm. Maybe it'll come up in the sequel. Better have just a little bit more time in the sequel. Made me understand the difference between rugby and football. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you've been wanting him to dick you down forever. What? <laughs> Wrong. No, 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 no. Okay. For years. I've not Do been... not interrupt me. Mm -hmm. You've been long distance text. Love her outfit here. Play every day for months. You oh. spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. <laughs> Come on! I don't know, I don't know! How many guys have you been with? Whoa. Can we give props to this character for not saying anything? Because clearly she didn't. I mean, I don't know if she heard the part about him being interested in Henry or what happened, but she heard the part about him being into guys or whatever. So she just was like, you know what? None of my business. 
We once mm -hmm. made out on the campaign, drunk, fully naked, in a hot tub. He can't ignore me all night. Can he? I guess you'll find out. Here he is. <laughs> it's seriously not. I mean, she gave him her piece. He's like, wait, what do I do? It's like, just fucking take a breath. Because Henry is going to be not the first one there. Building up suspense. Alex. Nice talk. Que guapo. You see how he sort of like walked past in a way where it's like, well, he'll call to me first. Oh, he didn't. I guess I gotta be the first. God, he's so into himself. The campaign putting your memo into action? Because they should. Is this the year that... They're in Alex? love. Yeah. They're in love. Gonna flip Texas. <laughs> you mean, you're gonna flip Texas. Was that ready? Why? Do I need to clear the room? Uh, what? what? No. I just need to talk I, to Henry. I, I, They did a fantastic job with this. Behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop talking. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's so fucking romantic. <laughs> Time's up. We gotta get back to. Oh, God. <laughs> she told them it's like five minutes or whatever, 40 seconds. I don't remember what she said. And they're like, whoa, she's here. It's like, yeah. Now someone's calling. To be fair, he took a while to get there, Henry. So they had really a few seconds, you know. Henry and I are much happier against walls. <laughs> Everything all right? People are like, did he spank him or did he grab his ass? It's like a cross in between, right? Prime Minister. And I think, oh my gosh. I rewatched it a few times and I want to say that the tables they're set so they haven't eaten yet so that's how much longer henry has to wait because they moved where the red room scene happens like before so he's waiting this whole time and that's why here you know it's like <laughs> you're late it's like no 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 no, no more games <laughs> so here like when alex was stretching earlier to be clear this changes nothing between us. I was about to say the same thing. Mm. You went. It's impossible. That blooper is amazing from this scene. <laughs> I really thought you hated me. I hated how good you looked. Mm. Key to my family's house in Austin. I started wearing it when we moved here. Ugh, I want that couch so bad. Replace this stupid thing. Got this from Targetto. Just to put it out there. Yes. I guess you could say I'm bisexual. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I am as gay as a maypole. <laughs> the maypole comment, a lot of people were asking after the movie came out what a maypole is or they searched it. I've always known because of maybe my dance background. I had to do it in ballet class a couple of times. Maypole dances, it's like, I'm sorry if this is a part of your tradition or culture, or it's like, oh, every summer we go to the maypole dance. It's just, I don't like them. I'm sorry. For some reason, it seems like such a simple concept going over with the ribbon and under and over and under. But I remember that being the most tedious thing to have to deal with working as a group for some reason when I have had to do it maybe a couple of times. You're braiding the pole on the way down. Unless it's like a super talented ballet company doing it or something, I don't get the appeal. I was kind of pleasantly surprised, I think, when I found out how many people weren't aware of what a maypole dance is. That means maybe it's not as relevant anymore. We just have to keep it very casual, of course. The press and all. I just can't afford for you to fall in love with me. Okay. <laughs> of your majesty it's your royal highness i don't know how many times i have to tell this you this is that. the most romantic fucking thing and was this their final scene that they filmed like to wrap the movie there's so much warmth to it it's so oh i guess no, i'll see I was you thinking... no you can you please, should after you please you first i think that's the part that matthew said 
he wanted to bring to the script or to the um to the film when it happened in rehearsal where they accidentally started to talk over each other if you might want to be my guest you'll be watching on the sidelines great because mm, he's nervous about asking him he's playing with his ring <laughs> hmm? he's like jeez They're both probably thinking, it's like, oh, maybe just one more time. And then after it happens, it's like, another time, one more time, one more time. <laughs> I thought it was clever how they cut this scene together as well. Oh, I love the texture of Alex's jacket. Coming up here. Yeah, 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 here. The texture of his coat. I, say, I said coat, I think I mean jacket. That smile. <laughs> oh, he looks so good. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? I remember this was one of the yeah, scenes that they released a short clip of before the Need to Hear premiere. And this was the first scene they filmed, right? Oh, the lighting here. Whatever they did in the rehearsals leading up to this, God, they got the work done, fully understanding these characters. And I thought Alexander Gabriel Clermont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> And then that tree behind them right now Does anyone is, in your family know about you? That's the same tree they were underneath for their New Year's kiss or something. Someone commented, it's like, oh, that's totally not, they're not in Paris right now. It's like, no, again, no shit, you guys. Henry Fox has to belong to himself or else he'll vanish. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. Again, all the serious moments in this movie, I feel, are what make it. I've said it before, I don't think people expected to take this movie as seriously as they ended up receiving it when they saw it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> that line. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who says make love anymore? My husband makes a big deal of that. Every time he reads a line where someone says make love or hears it on a show, it's like, God, it just sounds so weird. Because they're not always talking about sex. That's not what it means. So I get confused. I'm like, <laughs> I've never. Mm, people have mentioned how much they appreciate. Oh my god, I am so not this playing moment this cool of, right now. Like an honest look of we aren't born knowing how to do everything. You know, all the big moments that are going to happen in our lives. We're not going to be prepared every time. You shouldn't feel bad ever about not knowing something you were never taught. It's not always, it's like ask questions. It's not always easy to. <laughs> and then Matthew talked about how this isn't Henry's first time, but it's the first time he's been with someone like this who he is in love with or truly cares about. Yeah, my theory was wrong about the bracelets. I, I thought he was going to give one of the bracelets to Henry when Henry gave him his signet ring. My father was 12 when my abuela brought him and his sister over from Mexico. In America, if you're an immigrant with a Z in your last name, there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you. Claremont Diaz, a student at Georgetown Law, is playing an active role in the campaign's new Texas strategy. Hmm. All I said to Miguel is that Texas is competitive and we intend to win it. I didn't think he'd write an article well, about it. Well, he has. So and that was such an unfair trap because he had a past fling or relationship with Miguel and when you're just talking casually it's usually an unspoken agreement you don't take advantage like that but because Miguel is a weasel oh I remember <laughs> that <laughs> this is such a sweet scene I read your memo I love how it gets straight to the point you know good work we're sending you to Texas just dive in, in this gorgeous shot here greetings oh. from the Lone Star State it's hard to put into words how exciting it is to be back here working. Mm, watching this in 2024 in August. Let's go, let's go. Him working in the kitchen means so much to me. Food worker. I'll be damned, Alex, but Dear Henry, I miss you. I miss you too. Dear Henry, hey, Alex, I'll admit this to you. I'm reminded of one of my favorite quotes from Sense and Sensibility. It isn't what we say or think that defines us, but what we do. 
I read that recently, but I want to read National Convention in yeah, Brooklyn, New York. I want to read Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters again. I actually like that better than Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. In America that always looks to the future, not back at the past. Her vision. We are not going back. We're not going back. Sorry. I hope if I lose subscribers over what party I'm clearly supporting this year, I understand, but I can't keep it in, you know. There. Oh, Thanks. loser. No, we're staying at this hotel. Do you honestly believe that we're ever hooking up again? Buenas noches, cabrón. Uh, and he's what? been working so hard up to this point, barely any sleep, it's basically by himself. That reach, it now. was just so instinctual, he couldn't help it. Seeing the person who takes the weight off your shoulders, makes you feel like you can breathe again, he reached out and he touched him, and that's what it is. He <laughs> that hop. Hmm, what's your favorite movie? In the mood I still haven't love. seen that. I meant to watch it after the reference in this movie. Have you ever had your heart broken? Mm. The day my dad died. And you yes, know, all those guys seven. standing in the hall, you have they know. To do. Let's get just standing there, waiting for it all to blow up. Because <laughs> Zara is going to find out right now. Hey, oh. do you mind? <laughs> uh, Zara! Oh. Hook up with some rando. <laughs> the, the way she climbs on the couch. Speech, you don't have her sign an NDA. Of that like, everyone just got the every little nuance and how they embody the characters they got it down good morning <laughs> they handled this beautifully zara breathe uh, don't you tell me what to do <laughs> how long has this been going on Six years. oh god and who knows about this literally no one but <laughs> see right and nora Oh, and I told my sister. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really happy for us. Oh, I can't wait to see. I can't. That moment is so cute. But you're the one who decided to put your dick into the air to the British throne. <laughs> Technically, I'm the spare. Not talking to you, sir. I want to read the spare, too. Make any difference if I told you not to see him again? No. Right away. Uh, Henry taking <laughs> that answer in. As for you, little Lord Fuckleroy, you get your ass back to <laughs> Maryland, England right now. Your Royal Highness. <laughs> Go to the spa, girl. Another beautiful moment. Hey. Handled perfectly. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, darling. I've met someone. Huh. Is that all? Honey, that's great. I mean, what she's not a Republican, is she? No. <laughs> and he happens to be Henry. <laughs> the way she looks up to the side. So are you are you gay, bi, fluid, pan, quick? <laughs> what mom yeah, Ellen. I? Oh, dang, I could have made you a PowerPoint presentation. In another universe, you do. We didn't go over this particular type of partnering when we had the talk, which is on me for making assumptions. Mm -hmm. Okay. You are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe they gave you the nuclear codes. And you have to tell your father. Oh. <sighs> He's like, I have to come out again. <laughs> I love you. Hey, really cute. I love you too. Cute. My dad suggested that I invite mm -hmm. you. Do you want to come? Please say yes. This is Henry. I mean, uh, excuse me. Nick's favorite costume, I think, out of everything he wore in the movie. This little part here. Oh, it's so sweet. There's so much warmth behind it. Ugh. I just got back from vacation. I read like 600 pages or 700 pages, I can't remember, of The Stand. Come in, Mr. Fahrenheit. Speed of light. And this. <laughs> oh, this is such a good. Alex realizing that he's the one. Oh. Beautiful moment. So you like him? What's not to like? I wasn't sure if you needed to have like a Catholic moment about it. Or... You are after all talking to the patron saint of gender neutral bathrooms in Austin, you little shit. <laughs> I love this shot. Uh. I've been thinking. I seriously <laughs> doubt that. I seriously doubt that. 
We could walk through Austin holding hands and it won't even matter if anyone sees us. Mm. I never felt this way about anyone. Uh, the way that line is delivered, genuine, it's so perfect. And I mean, really putting your heart out there. It's like, poor Henry, poor Alex. Catched my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. Oh my you. God. What I mean to say is, Henry. Oh, to get cut off that way. The fact that this was like, what they call it? A, a test, a screen test. Like they, he just nailed it right away. It, fuck. Like he's devastated. In his mind at this point, he knew it was supposed to end, but he didn't expect it to be this abrupt and the, it's hitting him. He fucking loves me back. That's not how this was supposed to go. Ugh, I fucking lost it when I first saw this part. I was like, <laughs> hey, Papa time. Little guy. <laughs> Bye. You're cute. <laughs> you see how he looks over a little bit, the dog at the trainer, probably. Did I do okay? Are we done? <laughs> Grandpa find out. Not this time. Not this time. Didn't want to break his heart. What's about you? You did heart? break his heart. What we do has any meaningful impact on people's lives. Well, cheer up. She's so sweet. She looks so good in this dress. And the calls keep coming. Henry's like, he'll get over it. He'll get over me. Nope. He's torturing himself. Go to London. Get your man. Yeah. Howard's End, everyone, by E.M. Forrester. That's a pretty looking addition. I checked Goodreads after this, and apparently I gave it five stars. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I don't know what more you want me to say, and I don't appreciate you barging like in this here. This scene was their audition, right? Or one of the scenes that they auditioned with. I'm losing my mind this week because the man I love has vanished from my life without an explanation. Mm -hmm. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. That is simply not possible, and you know it. Like they nailed the scene. Because I would never leave this room if I didn't think there was any hope of holding on to the happiness. I get that, like the words were out of order or something, or there was a little slip there. It doesn't matter because you get what he means. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Like his eyes here. Jesus. Jesus. It's just better every time you watch it. Alex shared his special place with Henry. Henry sharing his special place with Alex. Mm-hmm. And to gawk at you, I'll try and take your picture. Without being able to control the lighting. They used what they had, they worked it to their advantage, and it paid off. <laughs> oh, Kyle did a great job with this scene, too. And... History, huh? <laughs> Bet we could make some. Did everyone in the theater freak out when they first saw that? It was going to be spoken aloud, or heard it, excuse me. <laughs> and then how this was like an in the moment situation here. This movie is like a hug. Here it is, the ring, man. I want you to have some part of me. Mm -hmm. Until you can have all of me again. This, I will admit, I was a little bummed that this was spoiled. And again, it's me. I looked it up, I was online, I did it, but I don't like how they showed a picture of Alex handing the key to Henry. That's just me. I don't think it's just me, but it, you know, it's just me. Yeah. The way when I was reading this for the first time that I thought the main conflict of the book had happened at this point. We're working our way to the end. Like at whatever point in the book that happened, you know, there were how many pages left. So I was like, oh, well that's, I mean, that wasn't, I don't know where I was just looking at, but Oh, well, that's it. Now we're going to focus on the election. That's the next in this part. I was just so thrown off when I read it the first time. Poor Henry. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. You're posted overnight to Reddit. I need to call him. I'm afraid you can't, sir. Get a message to him. Um, 
uh, to the White House. I've tried my contacts within the White House with no luck. I know some people were like, well, why? I, I, I don't know how stuff like that works as far as damage control. What do you do? It's like, don't take any phone calls. Everyone give you, give me your computer so I can go through it, make sure, you know, I don't know. Extensively about it in the week since the leak. I have to ask you, Miguel. I wonder how much attention the sequel is going to give to him. Because I get it, it's like revenge. And it's like, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm expecting that to be an option for them to play with, with the screenplay. But it's more about how it affected Alex and Henry's lives after. Write an article and publish it all within two and a half hours. I'm not sure what you're getting at. Jerk. The speech here. Every day. People need to listen to this every day. Beginning of this year. As many of you have already read, we've struggled every day with what this means. A reminder that someone else's time to come out is their time. It's like, you know what? You would feel better. Leave them alone. Be a support system for how they choose to handle it and when. What was taken from us? This and don't say, well, you better admit you're gay. You, I don't believe it's like. And Just when we should share our up. relationship and queer identities with the world. People still deal with this all the time. I'm still pissed off about the Kid O'Connor situation. That shouldn't have happened. Of His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. Did I say that actor's name wrong? Kid O'Connor? Sorry. I haven't read Heartbreaker yet and I haven't seen the show. But it's also possible that you just won. Yeah. She's so pretty, every outfit she wears, and her I hope hair. Henry was watching. <sighs> God, I miss him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kick ass. The first son in my office moving over the prince like a cow in labor, and I'm not going to get any work done until you put these two lovesick homosexuals, <laughs> skinny, perfect ass, over to the prince, hand him your phone. <laughs> so help me God, you will never... See me naked again. Bells mm. keeping secrets, kiddo. I do I'm not. Hello? Baby. Are you okay? No. No, I'm not. Mm. It's such a beautiful thing that he knows he can be honest with Alex about that. Please. Oh, right. such a beautiful shot there when they're on the stairs. Mm hmm. Imagining their future together. They both get to come home to this situation. They can forget about all the troubles in the world. They have each other. Okay, move over. <laughs> I think of Angelica whenever, <laughs> from Rugrats, whenever I hear that melody. That episode where they have Tommy pretend to be a girl to win a contest or win a boat or something. I feel so lost right now. Still love you. They love the idea of me. Dude. <laughs> Sorry. The idea of you. <laughs> your speech was beautiful. Oh. I'd be very proud to be your boyfriend. Mm -hmm. The king wishes to see you. Hey, is that like hanky? Or whatever's in his breast pocket. Walgreens tissue paper. Mm, habit. <laughs> I like this dress, too. Yes, will you continue to make a mockery of yourself and in turn? <laughs> that might explain these unseemly reports. It's all true, Grandpa. Yeah. Truth from which I am determined to protect you. I want your protection. I want your support. <laughs> to be happy, I'm... But to throw away your future <laughs> because of one mad infatuation. Yes. <clears throat> Deep. Love each other. Yeah. Deeply. <laughs> and we are committed to each other. Deeply. <laughs> and anything other than maintaining the traditional royal image. Out of the question. Why is it out of the question? Mr. Claremont Diaz, let me disabuse you of the idea that your contribution to this conversation- I still don't get that because they asked him to be here. King wanted to see both of them. Why must we maintain a traditional royal image? <laughs> Not accept a prince who is 
homosexual. Yeah. yeah, they will. Right here, see? Yes, tell me, what is it? Hmm? It's a big thing. Well, how many people? You're all to go mm. home immediately and, and await further instructions. What's going on? <laughs> take is it he... to KP. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah. Immediately and take the Henry's American face with here. you. Mm. To Sheffield, Birmingham, Cardiff. Your country loves you. <laughs> you. You can't go out there. Grandpa, tell them that they can't go out there. <laughs> I love you. Jeez. I love you more. I think that's yeah, all for debate. Go, go. Go, go. Go, this part. I freaked the, the fuck out when I saw Texas. It's possible we are just minutes away from knowing who. I get it. One day it could happen, but it, it like for so long Minnesota has been blue that it's just like, what the fuck is going on? Minnesota. That's fine, my like dad. that's why he's freaking out because he saw Minnesota red too. Breathe and we win. Claremont yeah. Is behind. Look, like where's my dad? That's why. I like the way this is filmed. We have one long shot on. Taylor, <laughs> I feel bad about that blooper though. Casey, Casey. Hey, hon. There they are. I, I, I guess it does cut there with Alex, but still, this is a long shot. This is so sweet, the way he has, you know, the protective connection there. I think my mom's working on her concession speech. He takes it so personally. Like, he really thinks that it's his fault if this doesn't go the way they want it to. The roses. <laughs> I read it as a thing in Texas. I thought it might bring you some luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People keep commenting. It's like, oh, he wouldn't actually he's not supposed to go out. It's like, Henry knows he's not supposed to. They cut ahead to the moment when they do, but before, the reason he goes out there is because Alex is like, nope, come on. He didn't, I don't know. What do we do now? <sighs> do you still have my key on you? Yeah, yeah. I can't believe, I mean, I can, but we're getting the sequel. We're getting the sequel. We won. Yeah. We won. We fucking won. We're getting a sequel. Ooh, shooting star. I saw a shooting star last week. My husband and I, we went out on, there's like a rocky beach and it, I don't know how to describe what the setup is, but we go out at night. We bundle up because it's freezing, but we go out on the lake basically and look up at the stars. Oh, we saw a shooting star. It was cool. Stephen Fry loved being in this movie. This is so pretty. Choreographer Kyle Hanagami. Kyle Hanagami's credit at the end there, just, it's so nice. I don't like it when I have to search for the choreographer. Other things he has done, Dove Cameron's Sand music video. I recommend people check that out. And he choreographed Mean Girls the musical as well. It gets better with, like, every time you rewatch it. This is such a comfort movie for so many people. And can't wait for the first preview for the sequel. I can't wait for the movie. I'm excited. I have calmed down. But I'm still happy. I'm still happy this movie exists for people to watch whenever they want. <laughs> that was fun. I love this movie so much. Thank you so much for stopping by this channel for the rewatch reaction. I am going to attempt to put a full commentary for the rewatch on my Patreon. Again, I do not have a full commentary for my first time watching or my blind reaction or whatever you call it just because I didn't know that this channel was going to turn into what it is now. So I do apologize for that, but I have the commentary for this. I'm going to work on it and put it on my Patreon and make it available for warm-up tier members. Thank you so much for stopping by this channel. Are you excited for the sequel? Did you like this movie? If you liked the video, leave a like. If you would like to subscribe, please subscribe. And I hope you are well. I hope you're happy. Thank you again. Bye.